rise today. Not much though. We'll put a lid on it probably at about the low 60s. Most spots with ample sunshine out there. So Edgewater today looking pretty good along the Indian River in Volusia County. Sunny skies, cool PM high at about 60 or so there. Seaside. Here's a look at Satellite Beach for you right now. Looks like by noon 57. Sunny, light breeze, a high near 63. We're at 60 by 5. And then for tonight, the lowest of the low will be over northern Florida from about Ocala North to Gainesville. And that's where we pick up some daybreak frost for tomorrow morning. Unlikely we find that around Orlando just too warm for that in the mid 40s, so we won't see any frosting there. Take a look. Regional forecast high pressure goes that away and up comes the southeast flow more southwesterly with warmer air in advance of an approaching front. It's this front I'm tracking now to bring more mark change to the region by next weekend. A little chilly weather coming back and possibly quite a bit of rainfall as we look at the storm track taking a big dip down to the south. So we could trend a little stormy. A lot of that may be adjusted east of the peninsula, but with the active storm track, it's been system after system loading from the Gulf of Alaska, streamlining across the U.S. and getting forced down south. And that's been some uh, bringing some big implications weatherwise to us here in central Florida. Forecast modeling showing Friday rain chance wants to come up. I think it comes up on Saturday to about 50 percent. That system passes off to our east and we get another injection of chill with a secondary front. This might be a very cold system January 26 next Wednesday and by Thursday Friday I'm looking at some of the forecast models showing temperatures and the single digits getting all the way down in the north and central Texas so that means we could see also a massive drop in temps here in Florida if that cold air begins to push eastbound and it just might so stay tuned north northwest winds 10 to 15 on the coastal waters today my central Florida tide times high and lows for you Ponce Inlet Port Canaveral my star of King's sketch today is Donnie out in Osceola the county with a big old bucket mouth, large mouth. He caught it. Uh, one of his neighborhood ponds. I want to fish your neighborhood ponds, Donnie. That's a big old bass he got. And Donnie started the King's Catch segment today because of that. Seven day forecast shows us temperatures coming up through midweek, then slamming down again with some rainfall for the weekend. We'll